she's looking at me, I'm looking at her, and she had her hands held out, like, mommy, mommy, I'm shot. In this captivating episode, we will be delving into the chilling and tragic case of Kia Pitts. A young woman who was only 19 years old when she was shot and killed in her own home in Rennes, Georgia. She was murdered out of the blues by someone who don't respect life. Kia Pitts was born on August 16, 2004, in Augusta, Georgia. She was the daughter of Sharika Pitts and James Shields. Her mother described her as a very lovely young lady. They were best friends and they can be seen together on different occasions on social media. She had two brothers, JC and Jaden, and a sister, Kyla. She graduated from Jefferson County High School in 2022, where she was a cheerleader and a track star. She was also a member of the National Honor Society and the Beta Club. She had plans to attend college and pursue a career in nursing. Kia was described by her family and friends as a beautiful, smart, funny, and kind person. She had a bright and contagious smile that could light up any room. She loved to dance, sing, and make TikTok videos. She was always positive and optimistic and had a strong faith in God. Look at the baby. She was very close to her mother, who called her, my baby girl. She was also very protective of her siblings, especially her younger brother Jaden, who has autism. Kia had just celebrated her 19th birthday on August 16, 2023. She had a party with her family and friends and received many gifts and messages of love and appreciation. She seemed happy and excited about her future. Little did she know that her life would be cut short just 10 days later. On August 26, 2023, around 1 a.m., Jefferson County Dispatch received a call about a gunshot at a residence on Washington Street in Rennes. When the authorities arrived at the scene, they found Kia lying unconscious inside the house. She had been shot in the chest. She was rushed to Augusta University Medical Center, but she did not survive. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation, GBI, was called in to investigate the shooting. According to special agent in charge Pat Morgan, there were several people inside the house at the time of the incident, including Kia's mother Sharika Pitts, her boyfriend Antonio Johnson, and some friends of Kia's. Morgan said that they were all interviewed by the GBI agents, but none of them claimed to have seen who shot Kia or how it happened. Morgan also said that there was no evidence of forced entry or robbery at the house. He said that the gun used to shoot Kia was recovered from the scene, but he did not reveal who owned it or where it was found. He said that the GBI was still waiting for the results of the ballistics tests and the autopsy report to determine if Kia's death was an accident or a homicide. New at 11, a 19-year-old has died after being shot in Rennes earlier this morning. Jefferson County Dispatch says they received a call about a shooting shortly after 1 a.m. at a home on Washington Street. When authorities arrived to the scene, they found a woman inside the home unconscious. She was then taken to AU Medical Center, where she later died. This is just the second shooting death for Rennes this year. The first was back in June after a store clerk at the Rennes Food Mart was killed during an alleged armed robbery. In that case, two people have been arrested and charged with murder, armed robbery, and more. And our Audrey Dickerber has been following this latest shooting all day. Audrey, you spoke with the mom of the victim. How is her family taking this sudden loss? It's been a very emotional and difficult time for the family of Kaya and anyone who was close to her. Posts and comments on Facebook talk about what a great person she was and how she will be missed. When I spoke to her mom today, she was surrounded by many people who are helping her through this difficult time. Everybody loved their Kaya. She was just this warm person and, and they just took her away from me. An unexpected tragedy 
leaving their family in shock. Never in a million years that I thought that I would be woken up with her saying she was shot. Never. She grew up on the street, a sudden shift for this calm community. It's a very quiet neighborhood. You know, I've been here for 41 years, so never had this issue. Everybody that knew Kaya loved her. It's a great spirited, beautiful young lady that was just taken from me just too soon. Who had big plans for her future. She wanted to be a teacher, but little kids always um, latched on to her. For some reason, all the kids that she was around and like her godson, even her, um, I mean, her cousin, she was just that person that they would latch to, that they would connect with. And she said she hopes this doesn't happen to anyone else ever again. Put the guns down, put the guns down. We have to come as one and as a community and stop this gun violence because it's getting out of hand, especially for Jefferson County. Now she is holding her family even closer, but says nothing can replace Kaya and the bond they have. She will be missed. As of today, September 7th, 2023, while writing this harsh true story of Kia Pitts, no arrests have been made in connection with Kia's death. The GBI has not released any updates or new information about the case. The investigation is still ongoing. Kia's family and friends are devastated by her loss. They are demanding justice for her and answers from the authorities. They are also questioning the credibility of some of the witnesses who were at the house that night. They believe that someone knows what happened to Kia and is hiding the truth. Kia's mother Sharika Pitts posted on Facebook, People are selfish and inconsiderate. As a mother my heart aches and we all are crying about this one. We are praying for you Sharika Pitts JC behind you sleep in heaven beautiful Kia Pitts. Kia's brother JC Shields posted on Instagram, I love you, sis. You didn't deserve this I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you I'm so sorry this happened to you I'm so sorry you had to go through this pain I'm so sorry you're gone I miss you so much sis I wish I could hug you one more time I wish I could hear your voice one more time I wish I could see your smile one more time you were my best friend my role model my inspiration my everything you were too good for this world sis, you were an angel on earth now you're an angel in heaven watch over me sis I'll make you proud I promise to rest easy sis rest in peace Kia Pitts. Kia's friend and former cheerleading teammate Jada Johnson posted on Twitter, life is literally so short and you never know when you'll be left in a situation left with so many what's who's where's and why's Kia Pitts rest easy pretty girl. Gone way too soon I honestly don't understand this life thing. Many other people who knew Kia or were touched by her story also expressed their condolences and tributes on social media. They shared photos and videos of Kia and remembered her as a sweet, loving, and talented person. Her mother went further to stress how much she wants the violence in the neighborhood to end and how the events actually occurred. Kaya Shields was asleep on the sofa when she was shot around 1 a.m. last Saturday morning. She walks in my room. I'm up looking. She's looking at me. I'm looking at her. And she had her hands held out like, Mommy, Mommy, I'm shot. That's when she saw Kaya was shot in the chest. Kaya was taken to Augusta University Medical Center, where she was pronounced dead. She had just celebrated her birthday days before. Her mother says Kaya had a warm personality and a beautiful spirit. She was just a normal teenager. Kaya's mother tells us her home should have been her safe space. She says she's going to do everything she can to make sure that this doesn't happen to another innocent person. Put the guns down. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation is one of the agencies on the case. Special agent in charge Patrick Morgan tells us there has recently been an uptick in this kind of violence. It appears to us that this is some type of gang uh, associated uh, violence that's going on. Um, we're trying to get a handle on that and conduct, you know, we're conducting several investigations uh, that date back a couple of months that we think are all tied uh, uh, to the incidents that have taken place recently. We're seeing that these people today, they're quick to pick up a gun to try to solve an issue that they're having. Um, and, you know, we just, you know, just like Michelle's mother said, we got to have these people put the guns down. Kaya's mother says that her family and the love from the community is getting her through this moment. I'm just going to keep her name alive. I'm just going to, you know, keep speaking on her until we can come up with a solution to stop the gun violence. They also prayed for her family and hoped that they would find peace and closure. Kia's funeral was held on September 2nd, 2023, 
at the Wrens Chapel African Methodist Episcopal Church. Hundreds of people attended the service, wearing pink and white, Kia's favorite colors. Kia's casket was covered with flowers and balloons, and her cheerleading uniform and track medals were displayed next to it. They also released white doves into the sky as a symbol of Kia's spirit. Kia Pitts was a young woman who had a bright future ahead of her. She had dreams and goals that she wanted to achieve. She had a loving family and friends who supported her. She had a positive impact on everyone who met her. She did not deserve to die so young and so violently. She deserved to live a long and happy life. We hope Kia Pitts continues to rest in peace. May Kia Pitts's story inspire us to be vigilant, compassionate, and committed to ending violence in all its forms. In loving memory of Kia Pitts forever in our hearts.